recognize this puss. Never seen that chip before in my life. Or after life. Are you doing this? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice beat Transformers 1 to win his third weekend in a row. Which surprised me. I thought that Transformers 1 would have beat out expectations. But it didn't even reach expectations. Which is very disappointing for a movie that I thought was going to win the weekend. Since it was an animated movie. And a lot of parents like to take their kids to go watch more kid friendly animated movies. So this is a very disappointing weekend for Paramount and Hasbro. As for Beetlejuice, I bet you HBO Max is very happy that it did win a third weekend in a row. Optimus Prime and Megatron put up a fight, but in the end, the robots were no match for everyone's favorite bio exorcist, Beetlejuice. You guys say it three times, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Oh no, he's not, oh, he's not behind me. <laughs> no. Um, I did watch the trailer. A lot of you like were upset that I didn't watch the trailer and then gave my opinion on the movie. And I watched actually two trailers, not just one, two trailers. I watched the first one, the first official trailer, and then the second trailer that they push out, like say several weeks before the actual premiere date of the movie or any other like show or animated series or anime or stuff like that. So I watched two trailers and I did find it interesting to watch. The thing is, when I look at Michael Keaton, he looks very old, of course. He, he's a, he is up there in age. And he got a little stomach. Way back when, of course, in 1998, when having a body was, a, was the best thing to have, he, had, uh, he was more flatter. To me, in my opinion, this movie should have been made, say, like, say, 10 years, say, like, 1998. So when, uh, of course... Of course, the teenage girl was a little bit older, which I don't care for the name of the little girl or the teenage girl because I cared more about, of course, Beetlejuice. He's the most important character. That's why everybody went to go watch. Nobody cared about the teenage girl. But that's near here and there. I'm very surprised that it did do so well. And we are in that fall season, going into that Halloween season, October month, where... A lot of people pay attention to more of that scary um, goblins and ghouls and vampires, werewolves. That's the month that everybody pay attention to that type of stuff. So I can see why it would do still so well. To me, is there's two reasons why Transformers 1 didn't do so well on its first weekend. And that is maybe because um, you didn't have actually Peter, Peter Cullen. Or somebody who can emulate that voice for Optimus Prime. And Megatron as well. You don't have those iconic voices for those characters. You don't have to have those voice actors. You can have the people that like can emulate those voices. The same way that those people could have. I know it was supposed to be an origin story. Also it could be that it was released at the wrong time. You had either... The summer season would would have worked. You would have had, of course, you had to compete with Inside Out 2 and Despicable Me 4, which was a very bad movie. It sucked. It sucked. Um, there's another option. They could have said, like, you, want, you know what? Let's release it during November, which would have been a better month to release it, which would have gained them a little bit more. I'm assuming that Paramount, Hasbro, they're disappointed. They're not happy with this. They're not happy. Now they're just hoping like everybody else that has a failing weekend on their first weekend. Because you don't want to do if you don't do well on your first weekend as a movie in theaters, you're not gonna do so well moving on. You have to do well. You have to win the weekend in order to push that momentum for the next few weeks. And Transformers didn't win the weekend. Who knows what happens next weekend. But it could be that 
this movie will fall. But who knows? Now is the time to stand together. No, it's time to fight back. Please don't do this. You need to move out of my way. Before I move, you must. After an unusual closed box office race, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice emerged victorious over newcomer Transformers 1 to retain the number one spot for three consecutive weekends. The spooky Warner Brothers sequel added a strong 26 million from 4,172 theaters, bringing its total to 225 million domestically and 329.7 million dollars globally. So I'm going to predict that Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice will probably finish around 500 to 600 million dollars throughout the entire time it's in theaters, and that'll be it. If Transformers 1 didn't do well on its second weekend, which most likely it's not going to happen, I mean, it's not going to do well. It's not. If you had a bad showing on your first weekend and you and you don't win that weekend, you're not going to do well in the second one. I could be wrong, and a lot of people pop it up and boost it up. Then it could do well. But I predict... That it can get up to 200 to 300 million. Th well, you know what? 300 to 400 million dollars throughout its theaters. And, I'm be and that's being generous. That's being generous. It's a very disappointing. They didn't reach expectations. The expectations, the predictions were 30 million dollars. Which was supposed to be the goal. And I thought it would exceed that goal. When I made that first video on Transformers 1. And it didn't reach that goal. Meanwhile, Transformers 1 kicked off behind expectations with $25 million from 3,978 venues. It's a, merge, uh, it's a meager start for Paramount and Hasbro animated movie. Which cost $75 million dollars. And was targeting a start of 30 million to 40 million. It only brought in 14 million internationally for a worldwide total of 39, 39 million dollars. <sighs> so, 75 million dollars to cost to create the entire movie. Also, the marketing for it is not included, so they had to spend mar money on marketing it. So, they had to reach like say double or triple the amount that the, it costs to make the movie. And like I said, I, I predict that it will, reach, it will reach 300 million to 400 million. And if it doesn't, it's not good. It's very bad showing for a Transformers movie. A very bad. And very bad showing for an animated movie as well. I thought that just being an animated movie would get of course, families to go watch this movie since it would be more kid friendly and is it is like an actual origin story of the entire rivalry between the Autobots and the Decepticons. Nobody knew. I didn't even know. I'm not a big Transformers person and I didn't even know that, of course, Optimus Prime and Megatron were actually friends until this whole thing happened. So this would have showed you like okay how did they tore apart how did the entire Cybertron the world or the planet Cybertron drive apart and this movie would have showed you what uh, what happened who knows who knows how well it does for the remainder those are predictions predictions can always be or you know what? They're not predictions. They're estimations. And estimations can actually be proven or be broken. So if I get them wrong, I get them wrong. And if I get them right, I get them right. But to me, it doesn't matter. I'm just thinking that, okay, this is... Because I'm seeing trends. I'm seeing trends. And that's why I give out some of those predictions. And the trends 
for me, for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice says, I would say, like I said, 500, 600 million. And for this movie, if it's trending down, 300, 400 million is more of a generous estimation that it gets after the end of his theoretical release. I don't know how, to me, I don't know how Paramount is going to be when they see these numbers. I don't know. I don't know. They're probably upset. They thought they were going to have a winner. It's Transformers. It's a well-known brand, well-known franchise. And now, who knows? Who knows? Who knows how they feel? I, I'm, in, in my opinion, I don't think they're happy. But I want to know your opinion. And if you have any thoughts, put them in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you on the next video. Peace out.